Hamilton. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the last day of the year, in case any of you just didn't know it. Uh, 31st of December, and we're closing out the year so far very well. It's been a really uh, spectacular year <clears throat> for the indices. We're looking at the Dow now, down 43 points. It made a high three days ago of 28,701. It's trading right now, <clears throat> 300 points below that. Uh, the weekly chart, I've gone through this so many times, it still looks like this is a PC that's going to come about by the end of the week if there's no new high, and that there should somehow or other be a leg D, and then we should be looking at something deeper. But we have seen Cs before. Remember the, the, the peak C that was we saw back in April the 26th was the high at 26,695. That was quite a drop to 24,701. So, and then we made a D and an E, and then we pulled, pulled back to the 25,339 area. So at least at this point, I still see the MACD and stochastic as being strong enough to have residual strength, even though uh, we're looking at from yesterday, for the weekend, I was looking at this and said, you know what, I'm getting short-term sell signals in my 120-minute charts all around. So let's see how this plays out. Meantime, back at the ranch, the, the S&P made a high of 32.47. Um, that was three days ago. It's trading right now at 32.16. Uh, not a big deal. It's down five points, but that, that's a spectacular move. It just started to fill the gap of about a week ago, and that is a peak D in the, uh, the weekly chart. If you're looking at the QQQ, NDX 100, NDX is trading at 214.56 as a high three days ago. Right now, it's at 211.87, having a digestive phase. I, everything I'm looking at here suggests this has to be a peak C as well, that there should be some residual strength. And I'll explain that in my show coming up straight after this break. IWM. Uh, it's trading very nicely up to 0.66 uh, to the upside, 166.10. 167.12 was the high of four days ago. It's holding very well. This is a leg C in the weekly chart. Now, this is the very interesting thing. Gold, gold is up $6. Just had a fabulous move. I mean, the last few weeks has been a really spectacular move. I'm going to have to discuss that as well. A lot of discussion about gold. Where do I think it's going? What's the relationship to the gold and the dollar? The dollar has been down quite sharply. It's down again today. Day, down 33 at 96.43. The 96 area has to hold. I'll talk about crude oil, I'll talk about bonds. I'll go through the whole thing, a recap, and then a look at next year. I'll be right back straight after this last little announcement. Basil Chapman, this is the TFNN.